conference semifinal between the two-time defending world champion Chicago Bulls and the Cleveland Cavaliers. Jordan on the rebound. Beautiful pass to Pippen. Oh, that's, oh, was that something? And that's the problem right there with the, with the Cavs going small. Jordan. And Jordan using the left hand. <laughs> it's so nice to be able to do that with oh. either hand. Jordan trying to duck in Elo. Look at that little change. A minute left now in the first half. Pippen goes around Jordy and Nance. Oh, and that'll count. count. And the foul will go on Nance. Was that Michael? No, that, that's Scotty Pippen. Has <laughs> Michael too much. Oh man. Sherry Johnson oh, takes a shot. The Watch right here. Now he's going to shoot this with his Sherry back Johnson to the basket. The There's played. a contact. And he lets it go. Makes it look easy. Very much Michael Jordan ish. That's the third foul on Larry Nance of significance, obviously, with 57.4 seconds left in the half. 11 point lead for Cleveland. And I think Michael will try to start taking things more of the responsibility. That's a good good job right there, but he makes the big shot. 10 point lead for Cleveland. Now the thing Cleveland wants to do here is not allow Chicago to get back in this game. They would like to have a substantial lead going into the fourth. Price goes around. Paxson blocked by Michael Jordan. Price gets around, wanted the foul. And Michael comes over. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Jordan will pull up and hit it. I just think if they get him isolated like that, you have to run someone at Michael. Pippen tried to go inside, and Williams would have nothing to do with it. Good deep. Nice defense. Two seconds on the shot clock with one. That'll count if it goes, and it does. It's a three. Is that typical, Jordan? Oh, my. Jordan with 26 points in the ball game. Good job, Brandon, handling the pressure up the floor. Stolen by Armstrong. What a big steal that is. Pippen to Jordan. Gordy, that'll be his sixth foul. As he fouls Pippen. And so Doherty is fouled out. And you see the push. Michael makes the basket and just sits. Yes, it's me once again. Jordan with 28 points. 20 in the second half. Less than a minute. Jordan with 10 seconds on the shot clock. I think Wilkins got a piece of it. Wilkins with excellent defense. Now, good job defensively. Gerald Wilkins has played tremendously well on both ends of the floor. And Cleveland now with a deadlock to 101. Runs into all kinds of problems. Elo comes up with it. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Elo, not there. Jordan saves it to Grant. Timeout, Chicago. 18.5 will left. You know, I was talking about 1989. First round, the buzzer coming, and Michael Jordan with Craig Elo trying to track him down. Hits it, and Chicago advanced. I just think if Michael gets in the one-on-one -on -one situation, and you just know he is, you just have to come with a strong, aggressive double team, force him to give it up. Now, the real question for Cleveland right now is who do you leave to come to double team? Here we go. You see the time remaining. It's deadlocked at 101. Good job, Gerald Wilkins. Well, you just have to come. You just have to come. 2.5 seconds. Jordan again. Uh, and you just have he to come. He's done it again. Almost in the same spot. Well, you know, you, you don't take the ball out of his hands. He give you a chance. Give a chance for things like that to happen. points Michael you had 24 in the second half let's look at it once again well he knocks the ball away right here which kind of knocks my rhythm off and then I just had to back him up and I saw a hot rod coming and you know I knew I had three seconds and I had to get a shot off Michael I said before the play even developed everyone of course knows knew it was going to go to you I said you have to come over force Michael to give the ball up once again they didn't do that they give you the chance to win the game again well I was very surprised that they uh, you know once I got the ball it was seven seconds. They didn't send someone over to double team me. And it gave me some room to work. And by the time they sent a second guy over there, you know, I had the room for the shot. You know, it was a good win for us. You know, we, we really scored.
squandered away a lot of opportunities early. But we stayed in there. We hung in there. Defensively, we got back into the ball game. And you got to give everyone credit, not just myself, but the team. We really have been playing good basketball up to this point. Well, the last two games, you started kind of tentatively with that wrist. But yeah. as the game wears on, you seem to get it all back together. I'm having a tough time getting it loose early. You know, uh, I'm thinking about it more than I want to. And finally, in the second half, I just let it go, you know. And you know, I got to get I got to get healthy so I don't think about it in the, in the first half. I got to get out of the blocks quicker. Now, now, Michael, I know you haven't had a chance to think about this, but uh, you look to the next round. The Knicks, the Knicks and Charlotte in a very tough series. Uh, which of those two teams would you rather play against? I think I know the answer, but but I want to hear it from you. Well, I, I think most people would pick the Charlotte Hornets, but you know I, I think that the, the, the challenge is there with the Knicks, and uh, we look forward to the challenge. It's not going to be easy. You know they got the home court advantage. They got a very talented team, and for some reason I'm a challenger, and I like to go against the best competition.